One question. Do you prefer CSS selectors or do you prefer XPath in your test automation? Me, I prefer CSS selectors, but that's because I'm bad at XPath. But I want to practice XPath. And since I'm doing Cypress videos lately, let's see how we can actually use XPath in Cypress. Because normally or generally, all our Cypress selectors are with CSS selectors. So we're going to have a look at the uh, RESTful Booker page and we're going to write a few tests or just a few selectors to be honest with XPath and with CSS. So if we want to write um, with, uh, let me put it correctly to the right. So if we want to write a test that takes this ID, go in Cypress, let's see, we have CSS here. So we just do ci.get and then there we can put our name and then we can say type and what we put, this is CSS. But what if I actually want to use the XPath? Um, well, I cannot really directly in Cypress. I don't have a way of, um, or I don't have an XPath specific selector. But let's change that. So there is um, an NPM package that we can add to our test. So let's see how this is done. We copy this command here, go into our test, we open the terminal and we do npm install minus d for developer Cypress XPath. If all goes well, we should have it in a few seconds. Perfect. And then, so if we want to include this one in our project, so we have to require Cypress path and this is supposed to be under support index.js. So we have support index.js here and this one does um, the imports, but we can also do require here. So we have this. Let's see what is the next step. So we can actually start using it. Well, let's see. So if we go to our tests and we do ci.xpath, we have a brand new path or brand new command here for xpath. So let's see how or what is the xpath for um, this element here. To be honest, I have no idea. So I'm going to, let's say, um, cheat. So I'm just copying the XPath. Let's see if it's correct. Yeah, it's there. Oopsie doopsie. Need to add the brackets. And let's do again type and say this is XPath. XPath. And now let's just start the um, Cypress. I'm going to pause it until Cypress opens. So Cypress now started and we have here our test. Let's just click it to see what happens. And it should run both our tests. First writing the expert and then the CSS. So this, is, this was a little bit fast, but if we go to the XPath, we see now that we actually have the command. We have the XPath command. So there you have it. Um, like I said, I'm not really an XPath professional. I'm trying to build on that one and there will be videos proving that, but this is how you can add XPath and use XPath in 
um, your Cypress tests. As always, thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.